Hiya, let's have a look at um, lattice deformers inside of Blender. So I go up to the top, go and add, add mesh, UV sphere. Yeah, we go, we'll UV sphere. And we'll alt left and click around here. And we'll move it with the G tool. Move it up to be about there, maybe. Okay, alt left, da 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 Makes more sense like that, doesn't it? And we're looking in the old scheme of things. Right, let's go and move it up a bit. Let's go to the move icon. I'm just going to move it up sort of there. So, all I'm trying to do is put it in the middle near the bottom, maybe a little bit more. There we go. So, there we go. Okay, now I can swap over to a better looking view. Solid view. There we go. Right. So what I want to do now is I want to create a vertex group because I only want to deform part of this object with this lattice deformer. So um, let's go select my ball here. Press the tab key to get into edit mode. Press the A key to deselect everything and we'll swap over to points because points make prizes. There you go. We'll alt left so we can sort of alt left and click and then we'll press B for box select and we're going to go and select um, those guys there. Oop. Okay, so we've now selected, uh, poorly selected. Let's try again. Uh, so A to everything, A to nothing. B for box select. You know what? If I did this properly, it'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Try that. Brr, brain. There we go. How's that looking? Alt left. That'll sort of do, and uh, sort of not do as well. You know what? It'll do. For what we're doing, it doesn't matter. Okay. So down here, let's undergo mesh, and actually let's go under da, 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 mesh, and we're looking for vertices, and we're going to go and say vertex group, boop, boop, assign to new group, and we're going to say yes please. Okay, so we've selected those as what we're going to go and use. So moving on, let's get rid of this. It's been not there too long. So we now need to go and add a modifier. So let's get out of this. So I've already made a uh, selection group. So tab to get into object mode. Go over into uh, modifier of this object. I selected ball object. Add a modifier. I'm going to go and add the lattice. And we need to say, well, what object are you going to use as a lattice? We are going to use one called lattice. Bye bye. And do you have any vertex groups? Yes, we do. And it's called group. There we go. So now when I go into my lattice deformer object here, I can press a tab key, I can select a point in space like this guy here, let's have a look around that, and then I can move it around and you will see that it is deforming some of it but not all of it, which is what we wanted. Yeah. So that way we can deform parts of an object. Other than that you'd be deforming everything. Now the thing you can't do he says wonderingly because I don't actually know. The thing I can't actually fathom out is I would like to be able to go and make a lattice that is more than a simple cube. I'd like to be able to go and divide it up and I don't think you can. In 2.4 or 2.49 I've seen videos where you can divide this lattice up um, but I can't see anything along here that will let me divide it. And I can't see any like numerical input anywhere that says how many sides do you want it to be. And there's no sort of thing when you go and say add uh, a lattice, it doesn't come up with any requester. So I imagine that is to be added. It's it's a work in progress. It is alpha. So there you go. So um, yeah. So there you go. You can have a lattice deformer. You can actually make it work on just part of an object as well. I'd imagine you you can put a blend on your vertex selection set as well. Um, how you go and rename it? I'm not too sure. Um, let's have a look onto the old tab key. Press on this guy and my numeric output here. What we've got in here? Anything interesting to look at? Don't think we have, have we? Do -do 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 -do. Scrolling really slowly. There we go. So, yeah, we do have a vertex group here. I mean, I'd like to be able to rename that. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. I don't know, don't know where that information is stored somewhere else. How about you reckon we look down here under mesh? Vertex group group this guy vertex groups can we doesn't give me any feedback of selection 
That's me. Really... <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So, yes, I can see that thing there. It's called Group One. Can I rename it? No, I can select it. How exciting! Uh, vertex groups. So I don't see where that information is uh, shown. So yeah, bit of an on-off sort of thing on this one. You can sort of barely do um, freeform deformation lattices. You can't really edit them, and vertex groups seem to be lacking in a. How do I go and name it? I've no clue. So it is alpha. I'll let you off then. <laughs> Like I'll have to anyway. I'll, I can ask for a refund. Hey, how about that? <laughs> I want all my no money back, please, because I can't figure that bit out. Anyway, uh, it is Sunday and I need a cup of tea, so I'll catch you later. Um, yeah, not that successful this one, but you know what? You ain't paid for it, so what's the difference? Catch you later. Bye.